I've travelled to London today to meet up with Adrian Sell, who's the Business and Events Manager for the MTA, and I'm going to talk to him about Mac 2014. Good afternoon, Adrian. Hi, Paul. So the show, it's less than eight weeks away now. It is. Um, we, um, we are in the, the final throes of uh, organising the event now. So. And, and how's it looking? The show's looking terrific. We've got uh, 550 exhibitors, um, or plus, for, for the show, um, as opposed to 490 for 2012. Um, and we've got about three and a half thousand more, thousand metres more in space taken as well. I saw uh, an article on the MTD website about the fact that pre-registrations are up. As we currently speak, I mean, we're obviously this is daily, we're checking this daily, um, we're 40% up on, on our pre-registered figures, so it's very encouraging. Um, and obviously we're now in the full throes of um, our telemarketing campaigns and our email and, and, and general promotion campaigns throughout the press as well. Okay, and there's a big focus this time on education. Yes, we're expanding what we do. Um, as the MTA, obviously, we're very committed to what we do with training and education. Um, and MAC, obviously, is a continuation of that. And um, we work uh, with World Skills, and we will have uh, World Skills Regional Heats, uh, six competitions taking place over three days at the show. Um, we have an expanded uh, training and education theatre within Hall 4 of the show as well. And I, and I read in various um, sort of trade publications and on various websites that you've got some big names coming back to the show that used to exhibit and yep. then maybe didn't a few years ago and now coming back. Yeah, it's, it's indicative of, I think, the hard work we've put in place uh, in the last few years for the show and we've evolved the event and the likes of, uh, you know, the likes of Matsura, for example, have returned to the show um, after, after an absence and an accent status to name but two. Overall, um, we have over, uh, just over 150 companies that have come back to the event that haven't exhibited in the last three MACs, so it's very encouraging. Um, but you know, I, I named two examples, but there's, there's obviously many more. And when we talk about numbers, how many people would, or did you get at the previous show visiting the, the MAC 2012? We had 21,500 visitors right. in 2012, um, and obviously our aim uh, is to, to, to better that. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, the pre regs are, are bear out the, that um, we're on the right track. We, we take nothing for granted, but um, our members um, and our exhibitors are obviously um, are, are doing very well at the moment, and the, and the, the, uh, the environment is very positive. And I, th I think manufacturing is obviously, you know, there's a lot of positivity around manufacturing at the moment. Um, some big names, Rolls Royce, to mention one. You know, yeah. what, what, there's a draw. Obviously, they've been very keen to to uh, to join the show. Yeah, we've we've invested a lot of time, and we we obviously as the MTA, um, we work uh, with a, a number of key OEMs on on a continuous basis. Um, however, for, in terms of for the Mac show itself, the, the, to have the OEM involvement, of, as you say, of the likes of Rolls Royce. Airbus and, and Messier Doughty, um, it'd be the first time they're exhibiting. And we're working closely with them in terms of their database, uh, in working with their databases, um, and uh, they will obviously be um, talking at the event as well. Um, and a big focus, a big focus on the show and in Hall 5 will be on the UK supply chain. So Adrian, if you can remember, remind us of the dates. 7th to 11th of April at the NEC Birmingham. Great, look forward to it. So don't forget that date for your diary. You can register for the event at mtdcnc.com. Alternatively, you can see us at the show. We've got the product locator, which is at the top of the stairs in between Hall 4 and 5. Look forward to seeing you there.